Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can see by the title, we're gonna react to Shiny's Minho's new song that came out on December 21st. It's called Heartbreak. It's his first single in, if I'm not mistaken, two years. But I'm so excited. Shiny was the first group that got me into K-pop back in 2011. They are near and dear to my heart. And so anytime any of the members come out with solo work or as a group, I have to support, of course. So per usual, we're just gonna hop right into the video. I'm gonna share my thoughts as we go along and then I will let you guys know what I think at the end. Flaming charisma. I did hear the song on Spotify, so I waited to actually watch the music video. I'm actually happy that he did a ballad and he was singing instead of rapping. This digital stuff is giving me like NCT bits and pieces when they were also filming a couple months ago. Come on, Mr. K drama, putting all of that to work. What I'm paying attention to is like the range that he wants to play around with because sometimes Mina will surprise you like he can blow a high note if he really wanted to but I think he's sticking to a very specific vibe for the song which I'm really liking. This is the type of song that I feel like I would listen to on a late night drive, just kind of vibing. Obviously he's doing that in the music video too, but still, it's super cool. Teleportation thing is such an exo thing to do, but it, of course, like you're under SM Entertainment, so you're bound to have like really similar themes and approaches to the music videos. So the whole field on fire. This really is like lead man in a film walking away from a burning car. It suits him so well. I actually really, really like the song. Outside of K-pop, I actually really love lo-fi. Let me just take this off, hold up. I love lo-fi, really chill kind of music. That's usually what I gravitate towards if I'm not listening to K-pop. So I feel like this did a really good job staying in that realm. He's obviously known for being a rapper. And so what I've enjoyed about the two singles that he has out now is that he's been able to show what he's able to do vocally in an entire song. And what I appreciate about Heartbreak is that this is probably concept-wise 
a really easy song for him to kind of slip in a rap and I actually appreciate the fact that he didn't do that. It was honestly completely unexpected for him to take that type of approach and it worked really well for him. There's a fan account that I follow on Instagram that I will link down below and also like put a picture here. This is just a fan theory but someone was saying that in the music video there is a series of numbers that I think is on a note card and I don't know people connecting the dots to see if there's a teaser of him having an album in the future. I would love for him to have an album. I think if I've noticed anything over the years of being a fan of shiny he's probably the person in the group that i would expect the least to actually have a music album because he's always gravitated towards acting and i think had he not been in the group and had it not had the changes that it's had in the last you know four or five years then i don't think he would be making solo music like i don't think he would be choosing acting versus singing but i think he always chooses shiny over acting if that makes any sense but back to the song i thought it was like like I said before, it's very chill. It's something that's easy on the ears. It's a really good introduction into him musically. If that's something that um, you wanted to share with your friends, it's very, it's a very different tone and manner than shiny music because it tends to be either really creative concepts and it's very artistic or you're known for really fresh concepts. I think he did an incredible job with it. To be fair, because the song was so chill, I think there wasn't that much that he could do with the music video. He obviously is incredibly handsome, very talented, and as a person who tends to be a fan of SM artists, my biggest concern, and it's not just for him, but in general for any group, is that they're recycling materials. So like you've heard me before say, oh, that reminds me of this thing from NCT or this thing from a previous Shiny video or this and this. And I think something within the entertainment group is there's a really good benefit to having some type of consistency and themes. And SM Entertainment does a really interesting job of trying to connect different groups and different songs throughout different concepts. But then there's also, you know, where is the room for the creativity? And I think because he hasn't had a song in a long time, that obviously affects the investment amount of money into the concepts, the team that he has, and the music video, etc. etc. I thought they obviously could have done a little bit more, and I'm definitely biased and I wish they gave him an unlimited budget to like incorporate a choreography or something like that if that was what he wanted to do but overall I thought the song again is easy on the ears I really enjoy it I'm obviously biased to shiny so by default I'm gonna love the song um but I would be super excited to see what he does in the future but yeah that is it I'm going to end the video here let me know what you guys think about the song as well as the music video and also your thoughts and opinions on whether or not you think he's gonna come out with an album soon like I said I hope he does but I'm also satisfied with him just coming out with this really unexpected single that was really great to listen to. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.